Hello everyone, and uh, here's my next installment of uh, something else from my collection. This one is actually really cool. Um, I've always liked this one. Um, this one is by Bachman. Um, this was one of their uh, classic collector series, and uh, I'll show you that in a minute. This is uh, HO Scale, authentic replica of the world's most famous train, the Orient Express. And uh, this one, sorry about the light reflection, but uh, it has this fantastic artwork of the train that's actually in the box. Um, going over a trestle with the countryside underneath. Uh, here's the uh, inset painting of the uh, hoax boarding the Orient Express. And uh, here's the indicator of Classic Collector Series. Uh, now these came out by Bachman sometime in the, I believe it was early 80s. Um, my parents had a hobby shop. We had these in, but um, it was Bachman in package name only. Let's uh, give this a look-see here. The really cool thing is in the box lid, it uh, contained a map of the uh, traditional route of the Orient Express, the uh, Paris to Istanbul line. Uh, it has a story of the, uh, the train itself, the legend. Um, it also goes into, you know, calls it the Queen of Trains. Uh, talks about how luxurious the train was, and and, and I always love that stuff because um, it gives you a nice background and history of uh, the train itself. I think it kind of really helps to embellish the uh, the train that you have. And then down here, it goes into detail about not so much the train, uh, but this is about the the one in here, this HO gauge set, and it talks about the detail involved, and we'll go into a couple pieces here, and uh, this is actually a cardboard inset that you can take off, and it included the track and power pack, and uh, this was Bachman's early to mid-80s packaging, and uh, the locomotive and cars. I'll zoom in here. The detail is fabulous. The banding on the boilers, and the valve gear, handrails, um, emblems on the cab, uh, the tender, and then each of the cars. The uh, dining car, which is really cool. Um, really, a lot of it I wouldn't be able to do it justice on this video. Um, there's some of the back head detail on the locomotive. Now a thing to show you on this, the wheels are move freely and that is because this train is tender driven. It has the motor inside the tender. Um, and one of the trucks here can just about make out. Um, can't really focus in on that much. Uh, but this is made in France by Joef. I think that's a pronunciation. If not, can someone please leave a comment on how to pronounce that properly? Because I have other things by them. And, uh, so Bachman had imported this and uh, locomotive and cars uh, were made by them and uh, you can just about see some interior on that car that's a, supposed to be a first class Pullman here's a sleeping car you can see the reflection of the corridor and uh, flipping it over um, inside can't really make it out with this camera unfortunately but you can see some of the compartments um, 
Here's the dining car. Has the uh, tables and things. And uh, another uh, compartment car. And uh, it's another sleeping car with the uh, corridor and the compartments. And each car has the small coat of arms and things. Uh, the uh, wagon leads cars, um, except for the Pullman car here. Uh, it's a fantastic set. Uh, so we've gone through what's in the box. And uh, my last video had the uh, Bing clockwork set running on the friendly confines of the dining room table that I'm showing you this. However, I do have a small HO gauge layout and uh, be able to share with you a quick run time of this train. Okay, here we go. And uh, with the train all steamed up and ready to go, let's uh, give her a little power. What I love on this one, let's slow it down a bit, is the detail on that running gear. It's absolutely fabulous. And also, um, please forgive the uh, scenery which she's traveling through. I know it's decidedly, for the most part, American, except for some cottages and a castle there. But. She seems to be doing okay. Even with that tender drive, um, it's not at all like a lot of typical, I mean, some of the U.S. made tender drive ones weren't that good in the 70s and 80s. This one really works very, very well. Just having her go in on this siding through the tunnel just has such a neat look coming through. So I'll bring her around for one last go. Bring her into the station. There we go. And uh, that's Bachman's Orient Express. And uh, yes, what I did do on the sleeping cars, I had the corridors facing outward so the people in the compartments could look inside so they could see the scenery and the track and all. Uh, that's about it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I'll pick something out for the next video and share it with you all then. Thanks again.